What's up my producer friends, another monster here, anothermonsterproductions.com. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm pretty stoked right now because I'm about to make a beat with Flex. If you don't know, Flex is the new image line plugin that pretty much everyone's talking about. Uh, it seems pretty dope so far. I literally just got FL Studio, the beta version, so I could try out this plugin. And I'm pretty excited to see what happens. We're gonna test it out. Um, it should be pretty fun. For those of you who don't know, Flex is essentially a rompler, which if you don't know what a rompler is, a rompler is like a play on words with a sampler, which a sampler is kind of like a synthesizer, except with a sampler, you have samples, which you can then tweak and kind of change the way the presets sound, but you can't really make your own sounds from scratch. So that seems to be sort of the way that Flex is doing it. It's essentially Image Lines version of Nexus. So I don't want to talk too much about this plugin, but for those of you who, who do want to know, this plugin should be coming out for free with all versions of FL Studio when they launch FL Studio 20.2. And right now you can get the beta version. I'll leave a link in the description of the video if you guys want to get that. All right, so we have some pretty awesome 808 sounds. And as you guys can see here, we have some various macro controls which we can sort of change the way it sounds. And the way this synth works is uh, basically, depending on who made the preset, they have sort of control over what the macro controls are to that sound. So for example, if we go in here and look at like some of the sounds in here, they're all different sort of things that we can do, uh, which is kind of cool. And then some of them don't even have it. So let's go back into our 808s, go to our 808 crushed. So we can compress it more, add some saturation. which sounds pretty cool, but then we're losing a lot of that low end, that sub frequency. Add some crush, kind of cool. Add some reduce. So to me, this sounds like we're doing a little FM synthesis, some, some frequency modulation there. Not really sure what exactly is happening, but that's what it sounds like to me. Uh, drive, oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's basically the same thing as saturation, just a little more intense. Modulate, that's pretty cool. Sounds like we got a little LFO action going on there. Uh, stereo, don't think I'd really wanna do that with my 808. And then the high pass, which don't really wanna do that with my 808 either. But anyway, you guys get the idea. Pretty cool stuff we can kind of mess with here. And then of course we have our envelope, which is pretty standard. Our ADSR, uh, looks like they have a hold option here too. I'm assuming that's what the H stands for. Okay, so let's go to some plucks here. See if we can come up with something kind of cool. Um, no. Let's see. Ooh. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's exactly what I'm going for. I'm going to see if we can find, oh, by the way, they have some really great sounding strings in here. I'm not going to necessarily get into that in this video, but if you guys get this pack, check out the string section. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we have here. This might be kind of cool. Let me go in here, see if I can come up with something kind of cool. I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. Hold on. Metal butterfly. That might be kind of cool. It's crazy how much, uh, CPU I'm using right now. Let's, let's mess with this though. Oh guys, I gotta go get my lasagna out of the oven. I'll be right back. Hey Siri, set timer for five minutes. Your timer is set for five minutes. So this is using up so much CPU and I'm wondering if it's because of these macros that I have going on here. It's a little bit better. I'm just gonna 
root this in the free mixer track and add my own reverb in the way. All right, so that's a good start. That's a pretty cool first pattern. Let's go ahead and name this uh, lead one. Okay, I think it's time to go ahead and get started on some drums. Oh, I don't have any of my packs. Dude, I'm just gonna use all stock FL Studio drums. Kind of like that A little lo-fi sound and clap too. Let's get a little hi-hat loop going on here. Uh, fully hi-hats. All right, little hi hat loop here. I wonder what this would sound like if I layered this too. All right, where are the kicks? Kicks. Where? Oh, there's kicks. Let's try this. I'm feeling that kick. All right, let's get some 808s going on. I'm going to go back into my flex. And I'm trying so hard not to make any bad jokes right now. Doesn't really need much. All right, let's get some cicada rolls. Probably use a different hi-hat. I actually kind of like that. That sounds cool. Let's do a little bit of this. This 808 is doing too much. Uh, let me go back and fix this. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't even know if I'm gonna worry about doing any arrangement to this right now. Yeah. Who knows, maybe I'll release it, I don't know. Guys, if you like this video, please go ahead, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. That's gonna let you know every time I release new videos. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about Flex. Is it dope? Is it not dope? I'll see you guys in the next video.